Welcome to my power webinars in Lean Orthodontics. My name is Dr. Martin Bexman. Today we are going to talk about wire bending again and it's a bend for the three that's in crossbite and needs to be brought beyond the occlusion to get into the right space. What you need for that today again is 018 stainless steel wire and a loop bending plier. Let's get ready for some action. Today it's going to be a really complex wire, what we are bending. It's again an 018 stainless steel and we use a loop bending plier or a bird plier, uh, whatever you prefer. And what we want to do is we had an impacted canine, a palatally impacted canine that has come through in a pellet and we want to bring it over the bite correct the cross bite and position it correctly. So what we need for do this is a really complex wire. It's a combination of a T-loop and quite a few helices as well, but you will see. Mainly what you can see is that the plier holds the hand bends. That's always what I stress that's important. And now let's have a look. We started with one part of the T-loop and now we go to a helix part which is rotated by 90 degrees to the plane of the T-loop. There we go, a beautiful double helix. Now we're going to change the direction again. We overbridge the part to go over to the next double helix in the same direction as before. Remember when you do a helix, don't just put the wire around the plier, just move the wire slowly step by step forward as well. Bend, move, bend move as you can see bend with the hand around the plier and move again the plier so we have multiple micro edges which all together will give a circle now you need the second part of the t-loop to mirror the first one you do exactly the same as before and then you'll have an end that will go into a bracket slot. Now you can see what we can do. We can push and pull with the T-loop and we have a little spring made of two helices. Look, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to intrude it and move it backly at the same time so we will be able to get it out of the cross bite. Put it in, activate it and now put it in your self ligating bracket. So that's really helpful when you have a self ligating bracket. If you had to put it in with extra steel ligatures it would be really really complicated and so it will work nicely. Now leave it for about four to six weeks and see how it goes. And as you can see that's, that's the very next appointment. We have already come across the lower four so cross bite is corrected. Obviously it's not completely leveled but that's what we'll do soon. <laughs> 